Hey, Mike. Hey, this is what it comes down to. Can I tell you what it comes down to? It's that headline right there. <laughs> hey, like really, hey, in some teams, some teams you can just go on and on. You can analyze what they do well, uh, what they struggle with. You can talk about their coaching staff. You can talk about where the game is played. Uh, if, if they're coming off a bye week, you can just break down all these things. But for the Kansas City Chiefs, it starts with number 15. It doesn't end there, but it starts with 15. Let's go to 87. Let, let's just go around the roster. They just, I put in the feed, they've got more than you have. And I know they didn't in the Super Bowl because that's the easy comeback. Well, what happened in the Super Bowl? What happened in the Super Bowl? Yeah, they were injured. Offensive line decimated. I get it. They look like a different team. But if you go to come for Kansas City, you just got to be honest with yourself and say, all right, can we can we score in an instant like Kansas City can? I mean, like, can we do that? If they, if we get them down 14 or if we get them down 20, can we finish them? With our, with our own explosive personnel, can we do what they do? And most of the time, I'd say for 28, 29 teams in the league, maybe 30 teams in the league, the answer is no. I was just amazed watching them yesterday. I don't know if Browns fans, I do know, because I know Browns fans. I was going to say, I don't know if Browns fans look at that halftime lead and said, we got this. But probably not. No, they, they you, know you can't have them. You can't have them down 12. You can't have them down. Hello, Houston. You can't have them down 24. And think you got it. You got to kill them, man. You got to like, you've got to take them. I'd always say it's like that, that choke out scene and get out. (laughs) (laughs) At the end, and and he didn't, and he still didn't kill her. Even with people trying to choke her out, he couldn't kill her. She's so evil. Anyway, you got to really, you got to take them out, man. You got to bury them. You got to have a 30, I'm not even exaggerating. You have to have a 30 point lead on Kansas City and it has to be a 30 point lead in the fourth quarter. Other than that, I've never seen anything like this. And that's a big statement. 101 years of NFL football. I have never seen an offense. And you watched them all. That could just turn it on <laughs> like that. Yeah. Not um, the greatest show on turf. Not the Broncos and 13, well, it's, 2013 it's, Broncos. It's, it's 15 and 10. It's 15 and 10. It's 15 and 10. It's like, you, you know, you work so hard to get the ball down the field 75 and all they need is one play. You know, um, I, I think I, just to speak on Kansas City, because honestly, looking at this game, to me, this is more about Cleveland. Um, oh, really? Okay. For Kansas City, though. I want to hear that. But for Kansas City, though. Be careful, It's though. one of the reasons why. Because, uh-huh. but hey. I'm saying before you, this 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 20 second timeout. I just want to give you a warning. <clears throat> now we were very respectful. I was respectful of your home team. Talking about him. I know oh, no, I'm not going. I'm respectful. not going to crap on him. I'm not going to crap on him. I'm not going to crap on him. Don't worry. Just I'm not be gonna careful. Crap on him. Just be careful. So, okay. No, no, I'm not going to crap on him. No, they love me in Cleveland. Um, no, I was going to say, um, in terms of Kansas City, it's it's why. Boring as it as it is, and it's only one game, and, and it goes both ways. You don't bury somebody after one game. You don't anoint somebody after one game. But as boring as it was for me to pick a rematch um, of last year's Super Bowl and a third straight Super Bowl for Kansas City is my preseason prediction. As boring as that is, um, the reason I did is because Kansas City got the same thing with 15 that the Bucks have with 12. He just hasn't done it as long, but it's the same thing that it's is there's an inevitability to it. I've been I've been, I've been watching uh, the Matrix trilogy again, excited about Matrix Resurrections. I've turned Savannah onto the Matrix. Uh, the, she's watched them all now, and she she wants to see Matrix Four with me. And first Matrix, Agent Smith. You hear that, Mister Anderson? That is the sound of inevitability. And when you look at Patrick Mahomes, and when you look at Tom Brady, no matter how Poorly, their teams may play. If they got the ball and they got a chance, you got to be perfect. 
you've got to be perfect. And Cleveland wasn't perfect when they needed to be. You know, the fumble punt, they don't need, I just talked about them being able to go to, from, you know, the tw- from the 25 to the end zone in a blink of an eye. They don't need you fumbling punts and giving them a short field. They don't need help, you know. And then, listen, having said all that, the Browns had an opportunity. Baker had the ball. The Browns think they have their guy. They think they got a guy. I mean, he's obviously their guy. I mean, got a guy. Same way the Chargers got a guy. You know, like, they think that Baker, yo, he's the guy that's going to take us there. He's the guy that gives us a chance in these situations. And Baker, I think, you know, I'm not sure he gave a direct explanation because I'm sure he wasn't trying to make excuses. So if I missed it, I beg your pardon. But I think he was trying to throw it away more than he was trying to make a play. Because that if he was trying to if he was actually trying to complete that pass, that was that was that was less than a rookie mistake. That was that was a high school mistake. If he was actually trying to complete a pass, because that guy wasn't open. Okay. And so, but in that moment, you gotta be perfect with the football. You know, you gotta make sure you either escape the pocket and slide, you gotta throw it away. You can't turn you cannot give that game away. And that's why for me it's more about Cleveland, Michael, because Cleveland, again, on paper, they're there. They're there. Cleveland's right there. They're, they're, they, I understand why people are picking them to win the Super Bowl. I understand why people, um, you know, are on their bandwagon, especially after what they did last year in the playoffs. I get it. But at a certain point, and I remember we had this conversation last year. I forget which game it was that they lost in Browns-like fashion. But I was talking about how, you know what? This feels Baltimore. different. There is. It was a Ravens was it Baltimore? game. It was Thursday a Ravens night. game where, where Lamar had to – well, Lamar had to take a dump and then he came back and saved the day. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. like, yo, I was like, but listen, Cleveland, like you're right there. It's like, you know, this is a different Browns team. There's a, I was talking about moral victories, right? I, I know they are no such thing, but every now and then it's okay, especially when you have a moribund franchise and a team that I believe has won one opener since it came back in 1999. I think it's one, That's just right? What is like, that? 0 1 is where they, where they are every single season, right? And so, Last year, I was like, oh, you know what? This is, a, this is a new day in Cleveland. I know they lost, but I'm seeing this team's growth and maturation. Well, you know what? Growth, of, it's, it's, that day is dead. Like, growth and maturation is like, all right, we've been there, done that. You've been close enough. You know, you've put up a good fight enough. You know, you've been, you've been there at the end. It's time for you to learn to win. And you learn to win by winning. You are what you do repeatedly. Excellence is therefore not an act, but a habit like the, the, the Chiefs. They know how to win these games. The Bucks, they know how to win these games. The Patriots used to know how to win these games. That is not how you win these games. Okay, that is not playing to win the game, Hearn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. so it's time for them to they should have grown up by now. They shouldn't be committing the same types of Browns mistakes that they did in previous years. It, if, they, if they're going to yeah. play with Kansas City, yeah, I mean, you ain't got to keep up with Kansas City as much as you cannot beat yourself and allow Kansas City opportunities oh, no. to take advantage because Kansas City ain't doing that. The Bucks ain't doing that. You want to be you want to be on that level. You got to learn how to win these games and the time the, the day of moral victories or the day of of brownie points or silver linings for being close that day is supposed to be dead for Cleveland. If you're a contender, I'm not grading on a curve with Cleveland. I would say this, though. I say this, uh, Mike. I think the Kansas City Chiefs are in a different category than anybody else. I think they're in a different category than Tampa. See, I like. There's a way. There's a way to. There is a game plan to beat Tampa. There's a game plan. We've seen it, and and, and it's been effective. No. Clearly, we didn't see it down the stretch last year. They won the Super Bowl. But there are some defensive coordinators out there who could tell you, oh, yeah, we can, do, we, can, we can handle them. We can handle them. I know how to slow them down. I have not seen I mean, Kansas City. I don't think there's Kansas anything City. sustainable that I've seen yet. Sustainable, that's the key word. Sustainable. That I've seen yet against Kansas City. And, and, and I'll say, I'm going to go this far and make all y'all Tampa. If, if you're not mad already, I'm going to make you even angrier. If if Todd Bowles, if they were to play this game again, ooh, I sound like Mike Smith making excuses for Brooklyn. Um, but if if Kansas City and Tampa were to play the Super Bowl again, and Kansas City had a healthy offensive line, 
Well, yeah. I mean, what else, that's I, the story they all say. If if not for injuries, right, Mike? You know how that is. If not for the injuries, they were injured. But if they if they're not injured, Todd Bowles comes up with the same game plan. It's not successful. There is not a sustainable way to deal with the Kansas City Chiefs. I, I don't care who you are. So and, and I'd say even more so for Kansas City than than Tampa because Tampa has a quarterback who doesn't run. Hey, Patrick Mahomes runs so he can beat you actually running. He can beat you on the run with some of his throws. And then he could drop back and just loft it and beat you. And, and Tampa doesn't have that as great as Tom Brady is. That's just not something you have to worry about. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's I don't think it's really about Cleveland. I think it's more about Kansas City because Kansas City puts so much pressure on you, Mike. They they make you they make you think that you have to be perfect and nobody's perfect. No team plays perfectly. No, I mean, so, but we I but we knew that about Kansas City. We knew that about Kansas. But the reason I say it's more about Cleveland. That's fine. I mean, it, you know, both teams played. It's, it's we're not in violent disagreement here. The reason I say it's more about Cleveland for me is we knew that coming in about Kansas City. We've known that we know who they are. Yesterday's game was supposed to be about Cleveland taking that next step and, and, and pulling out the kind of win that sets your organization on a course that that proves that hey, it's not just talk. Guy. It's not just hype. They're gonna do that. We're legitimately we're legitimately on the same level. This gap that you think there is between Kansas City and dare I say it, Buffalo and the rest of the AFC doesn't exist. We're ready to dethrone Kansas City and take over AFC supremacy. Speaking of Buffalo, before we go, but Mike, uh, if you go do that, before we go to break, we should talk about that. It, but if, go ahead. It, what were you about to say? And uh, what, what I'm saying is and that's not it, look at that. Back that's City. not a bad stat line. Not bad, not bad, but except no touchdown passes. Um, you still need can't th- see like these. You, you mentioned the Patriots and you mentioned all these teams, Tampa, and you mentioned Kansas City. Yeah, it's coaching and it's preparation and all this stuff. But generally with these great teams, if you go back and look at it and they will tell you, they'll try to intellectualize it. You know what we did and we did. We watched this movie or we did this training technique. No, you know what? Ultimately what you did. You had a lot more talent than everybody else. You had one more. You had one more pitch than they did. Like my favorite basketball team of all time, or the best basketball team of all time, Golden State Warriors. They had one more, one more great player than everybody else. They had one more. You just can't match them. Kansas City just they, yeah, they got I, they I, got yeah, one I, more than yeah. You yeah, but that ain't got nothing to do with the punter dropping the snap number gap. one. And I don't think there's we talk about gap. that one more great player. But you well, but nobody's more talented on paper than the Browns are. Okay, they got number one picks Kansas all City. up and down the roster. Kansas City is. But no, but Kansas no, City they is. have. Okay, so you talking about Mike Hughes? Is that what you talking about? You talking about Mike Hughes? Because again, everything you just said is true, and yet okay. Cleveland, Cleveland is was everything you talking about the whole roster, Michael. Everything you just okay, said whole, is true, and yet Cleveland was right there. They had a 12 point lead. They had a nine point lead in the fourth. The talent that Kansas City has allows them to erase any deficit. We know that. Ask San Francisco okay, about me, that. What I'm telling you is let me get ready. that talent you're talking about ready. ain't got nothing to do with the punter dropping the snap in his own territory. It ain't got nothing to do with Mike okay, Hughes right. catching an ill advised interception from Baker Mayfield. The Browns, it was their game to win. They had that game. And if you're going to be taken seriously, you have to hold that game. You can't give it to Kansas City because, again, to your point, they're so talented and that quarterback is such a killer, they don't need no help taking it. Okay? What the Browns did yesterday was in one of them hard movies that I don't watch because my nerves too bad. What they did yesterday was they decided to hide in the bathroom, okay, and hope that Jason or Freddie doesn't catch him or hide in the barn and then run away and trip and fall. And now you're limping the rest of the way. Right. It's like, yo, they're going to get you. Okay, you need to th- you need to be two steps ahead of them and not making the same careless errors that 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 cl- that that make your job that much harder. If there is a talent gap and it's not that big between Kansas City and Cleveland, if there is a talent gap across the roster, okay, you're widening widening it by doing dumb stuff. That's the bottom line. And Cleveland, yeah. you're too old to be doing well, dumb stuff. 
I know you tell your children that. I tell my children that. You're too old for that. I'm too old to be. You're too old for me to be able to tell you the same thing over and over again. Okay. Uh, th th there's a talent gap. See, the reason why the talent gap is bigger than you say, it's like, uh, let, let me let me uh, use an analogy for, uh, from a game that I'm not really that good at. Now, my mom, my mom is great at. My mom kills me in Scrabble. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Scrabble, crazy. So. Scrabble, you get certain words, you get cer certain letters. Okay, you can put some words together, but if you got one and two pointers, so what? You want those double oh, yeah, digits. You, get, you want that. You need some Z words. And the 12. You need some Z words. Right? Yeah. No, no, yeah. Okay. Right. Cleveland might have equal talent outside of quarterback outside of tight end outside of wide receiver. Oh, that's huge. But those are your big, big letters. So that's why you. the talent gap is there because of the quarterback. But, they were, but were they not up 12? Were they not up nine going into the fourth quarter? You better. You better get yourself up 30. <laughs> Being no, up 12, I hear you. Get, I hear you. But that's also that unrealistic because of that talent you're talking about. You can't you nice make those mistakes. Cup of coffee. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.